folks, it doesn't get any more classic than a Martin Committee trumpet from 1945. It really doesn't. We just got this one in and we're listing it soon, but I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek of the horn and how beautiful it sounds. So stay tuned to this video and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. Thanks so much for your great support. While you're at the beginning of this uh, show and tell, hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with us. We have so many cool horns coming in and this is just, I mean, this is the classic. You think of classic trumpets in the, the world of brass you have, of course you have the French Besson. Uh, that's where most of the modern trumpet designs come from. You have New York box, right? Um, you might have a Selmer balanced Louis Armstrong sort of style trumpet. Um, and then you have the Martin Committee and the Con Constellation. I think those are really like the horns, in my opinion, if you're an improvising musician like myself, that's really where things are. And this is just a beautiful horn. This is an original finish. Um, I think it's actually only two owners, to be honest, um, Martin Committee. And so the story of this is that a good friend of ours and a customer of ours, um, he worked for a music school and someone came in and said, hey, we wanna give this horn to the music cell school, but it's just like a junker. And they handed this horn to them. Uh, needless to say, he ended up paying them a good price uh, and um, kept it for himself. The Martin Committee is synonymous with the great jazz trumpet players of the 40s. Think. Miles Davis, of course, played a Martin. Dizzy Gillespie played a Martin. Um, Howard McGee played a Martin. Chet Baker played a Martin. Um, Fastenavaro played a Martin some, but he also played uh, a, a, a Besson, and I've seen him actually with an Olds as well. Um, Roy Eldridge played a Martin. So you think about, I mean, I can go on and on. It was the classic horn for these improvising musicians, and there is a vibe. You could hear that in the sound of the horn. Um, and that has a lot to do with a couple factors here. First, you've got the reverse lead pipe. Second, you have a wide-throated bell. You get this wide-throated bell. Notice this is a two-piece bell. You can see the seam right there, right? It's a two-piece bell, um, but it's a wide throat. And notice the curve here. It's very, it's got a very unique bend. In fact, this one's got a few dents, so that's why we're not listing it just yet. Um, but if you email the shop at info at Austin Custom Brass, we'll give you some pricing before we get the dents out. But we're going to take this to the shop later this week and get that done. Um, and, of course, the trombone-style water keys, right? Usually when we get committees in, we have such a long wait list. And, uh, ooh, I'm, I'm blurry for some reason. I'm back. Uh, again, I just want to let you know our, our normal cameras on the fritz, so I'm using this camera. It's not as good quality, but um, still fine. Um, normally when we get horns like this, they sell before they actually get on the store, but um, I don't know if we've actually reached out to the customers on the wish list, but I wanted to do a video anyways of the horn. There's a few um, concerning wear points. Obviously the bell bow has some dents, which we're gonna take out. And then there's a couple specks of red rot on the lead pipe. Um, not too bad. The trigger uh, is missing, but I'm, I, I know of source I can get a replacement for that. Um, compression's okay. Let's check out the valves. Um, it's not the best compression, but this is a medium bore, so I think on horns, the valves actually look really good. So perhaps they've been replated in the past. Um, you know, those valves actually look quite good, and they're clean on the inside. Um, Let's see, give it a pop test actually, since I'm doing this. Uh, make sure I don't cross thread this on. No, it's been one of those days just to let you know. But it's got plenty of good pop. And it has a little blowback on that first valve. So yeah, with heavier valve oil, like uh, Burp 3, it plays great. Um, I'm not sure what's on here right now. I think it's actually just Ultra Pure. Um, because that's what I had at home. But uh, you heard a little bit of the horn on the beginning. Uh, let me play you uh, a little bit more.
this audio, by the way. It's completely raw, unedited. It's into a nice microphone, but it's very, very accurately tape, taping, we'll say, the horn. And a little ceiling, not a great acoustic, but it still sounds good, I think. Uh, there's a great video uh, from the Canadian Randy Cole talks about Martin Committee and Kevin Dean, awesome trumpet player from Toronto, he says that the Martin Committee just paints jazz music. And it really does. I mean, it is the perfect bebop trumpet. Um, it really is a classic horn. And in ballad, it sounds beautiful. Um, would I play an excerpt? Uh, let's try one. Let's try Muller 5 on the Martin Committee. Now, this mouthpiece is my ACB converted Shoggle Operdato. It's a 1C. Not the best horn to play an orchestral excerpt and not the best uh, choice as the player. Uh, that's not what I do anymore, but it's still a great horn. And uh, if I put a lead mouthpiece in, it's not going to be the horn that you want to play lead, but the entire section of Woody Herman's band um, had them and played them. So it's, it's one of these deals that a lot of people use these horns to play in tons of styles. I know when Bill Chase got his start, before he got his shilgi, that classic shilgi, I think it was a B6 or something like that. Oh, I'm blurry again. I'm blurry again. So, um, let me see. See if we can get you to focus there, camera. But the camera's not doing a good job today. I'm sorry about that. Like I said, it's a backup camera. But uh, let's play a little uh, lead trumpet stuff on this. I'm going to turn down the microphone. So it, it can do it, but it's again, when you play in that upper register on the medium board committee, it feels like it just backs, backs on you. 
this is still the perfect jazz solo trumpet. It really is. And uh, we're very happy to have it in the shop. Reach out to us um, because this won't be listed for a week or two as we get some of the pings taken out. Um, but if you want it, you can buy it. Thanks again. Hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with us. Thanks again for your great support and keep on keeping on. Cheers.